Here we have a 2020 M1 Mac Mini that came in for repair. And the board looks something like this. The boards are getting smaller. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Thank you. The boards are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I have not worked on that specific model before. I've done a lot of the older Mac Minis, but not this one. And I have no clue, no idea where to look. I see a fan here that was not taken out. And we have a speaker here. Customer wrote Mac Mini M1 2020, I think. Let me show you the board up close. Where would you look when fixing a board like this? We do not have any schematics. We do not have any board view diagrams. And it's a hit and miss. We're going to start by doing visual inspection just to see if there's anything obvious. And maybe we can power on the device under a thermal camera and see if there's anything obvious. We can do random measurements on capacitors, MOSFETs, and see if there's a short circuit anywhere. I mean, not much to look at on front of the board. Board looks clean. Not even dust on it. And that's the other side. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? What is this here? It looks like this cap, blue. Look at the smoke that we see here. Right? Let's measure in diet mode. We're going to measure to ground. And do we have a short? And we have a dead short, 0 0.000 voltage drop. Let me go to ohms mode. And we have a 0 ohm reading. We have a dead short. Back to diode mode. Measure from here to here. And of course, we're going to have a short here. We're going to have a short here. And most likely on many areas of the board. Zero voltage drop everywhere. Wow. I think we got it. That smoke cannot be normal. I mean, that's a thick board, so it's going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of heat to remove that cap. And the cap is out. Let's measure to see if we have a short still. Meter in diode mode. And we're going to measure short to ground. Do we have it? Yes, we do not have a short anymore. So that cap was causing the problem. The cap was the problem, and I was able to figure it out based on the smoke that I saw on the board. Visual inspection. I always talk about visual inspection and how important visual inspection is because if it wasn't for visual inspection, I would not have been able to figure it out. Or like I said, I would have done 
measurements randomly on capacitors and most likely figured it out. But with visual inspection, it was quick. Let's measure this cap right here. And we do not have a short anymore, you see? We do not have a short anymore. And if we move down here, we do not have a short anymore. We got it. We got it. The cap was blown. And we got it. Now all we need to do is find a similar cap. And I have a lot of donor boards for IMAX, Mac Minis. Hopefully I can find a similar one. The coding may be different on the component, but we want to find a similar one. Right there. Right there. I got it. And I got it from right over here, from an iMac motherboard. We have some right here. Now, I do not want this cap. I do not want that cap to pop in my face. So let's get rid of it. That's a donor board anyway, so we do not need it. And what is the easiest way to remove that component? We can do it with low melt solder or we can just do it the old fashioned way, heat and tweezers. I mean, we still have the heat sink on this board, so I think low melt solder is the way to go because it's going to take a lot of heat to remove that component. But we did it. Put some flux. Very nice. Better than the factory. And there's no reason why this Mac Mini would not work now. I'm very optimistic. Just one final cleanup and I'm going to hand it over to Big Boss to assemble and test. And we'll be back to finish the video. All right, I'll be back. Yes? Yes, yes. We do hear the chime, and let's wait a few seconds. Fan is spinning. Perfect, very nice. So this Mac Mini is fixed. 
Thank you, Big Boss, the boss of all bosses. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video. Maybe we will work on this, or this, or this, or this. We'll see.